Hey team, I got to say a big thank you to all of you in the world because yesterday, February 8th, that's my 16th birthday here at YouTube. Now the very first posted video is February 29th, 2008. Well, I had some videos before this, but I had to delete them. So in celebration of the square root of 256, I'm going to show you a Power Query trick. We have number and letters. That's the table. If I use my field access operators and type the name of the column, this is a column lookup formula in M code that looks up a column and returns a list. So when I hit Enter, there's the list of numbers. And all aggregate functions require a list. And that's why list.min and sum and standard deviation, all the aggregate functions start with a list. There it is, a list. And we all know what the answer is here. It'll be the smallest number when I hit Enter, 43. But notice, here's some letters. So if I come back to this formula, and instead of pulling from numbers, I pull from letters and hit Enter, what? List.min and list.max all work on letters or text items. If we go back here, the reason the smallest is big A, because unicharacters, that's 65. This little a is 97. So list.min and list.max, they're alphanumeric. All right, here's another cool M code trick. I've already grouped this. Here's the original table. Well, there's no duplicate. So when I group, it's just the same. But guess what? I want case insensitive table.group. I want little a and big A to be together. Well, we've used three of the arguments in table.group. Group kind, that's either local or global. I want to skip that. Now, in Excel, you can just type comma and skip. But if you really want to skip in Power Query, you got to type null, comma, and there it is, compare. If I invoke the compare function, ordinal.ignore case, ordinal means unit character, ignore case means exactly what it says, close parentheses, you got to be kidding me, table.group. Case insensitive. All right, we'll see you for the next 16 years of fun with Excel and Power BI and M code and DAX and worksheet formulas and array formulas here at Excel is Fun. All right, see you next video.